Hey YouTube, that Brady chick here. So I'm here with my hair straightened. I'm gonna insert some pictures up here. But basically I decided to get my hair straightened on February 24th, I believe. Just, you know, for fun. The last time I did it was three years ago and I just wanted to see how it looks when it's straight again. So obviously my hair is kind of reverting. It's getting a little frizzy again, you know? So I think it's, it's that time to kind of, you know, get back to our natural natural state it was fun while it lasted you know it looks nice with the winter hat and everything but i think you know it, it's time it's time so yeah um i actually wanted to do something a little different with my hair this time i will be reverting it to my natural state but i also want to switch to a different style one that i haven't done in a while and one that i've surely never done on myself so it's gonna be interesting but i definitely want to try it out so Stay tuned. Alrighty, without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So what I have here is a mixture. It is my Aussie Moist Conditioner and a bunch of oils put together. So avocado oil, castor oil, omega-3 oil even. But yeah, I just like put random oils together just to kind of give it like a smooth consistency. Obviously it needs to be mixed, so I'm going to do that right now. Let me just clear my area. I have to have my laptop here because might be a bit of a process. I like to use just the tail of my comb and mix it all up. Put my little clips here. And we're gonna go ahead and section. What was I doing again? Oh, I'm gonna section it off. And the great thing about straight hair is that your hair is pretty much already detangled or at least a lot more detangled than it would have been if it was in its completely natural state. We love that for us. Just detangling that out. So this is the new thing that I'm adding. It's chebe, chebe butter. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's supposed to be like a, like, I don't know. Some just, some natural thing for your hair. It's supposed to help with hair health. I'm just gonna put just a little bit in this mixture. Ooh, it does have a weird smell. Huh. Anyways, just eyeballing it a little bit. I hope that wasn't too much chin basil in there. Remember this is just conditioner mixed with a bunch of oils and now mixed with chubby butter. Okay, so it's gonna be a little sandy, I guess, but this is how it turns out. Kind of looks like Oreo ice cream. Woo, so just putting that, maybe I should have sprayed my hair with water first. It's okay, I'm already in. I'm already doing it. Too late now. My hair is slightly responding to it. It's gonna take some time, of course, because remember, it, it was straightened. I'm trying to get it into the hair strands as much as possible. And as you can see, my hair is slightly reverting already. Just a little bit. Like maybe I should comb that through and then I'll put it into a little two-strand twist. So as you can see, there's a bit of resistance now with my hair, now that it's back to its natural texture. Low key though, it does feel stronger when it's in this state, but does it mean that it's stronger? Not necessarily. We're just gonna twist that up. leave that like that. Uh, maybe one thing I would recommend is to see if you could like ground up these uh, the chubby powder because it's very sandy like look at this and it feels a little rough so I don't know if you want that to micro manipulate your hair so if you could ground it up and make it not so sandy do that because I'm not loving the texture but it's okay so we're gonna move on doing the other side now a little water. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna do two Please more sec- well, four more minute sections, minute. making a total of six sections. And then I think I'll come back on camera when it's all done. Say bye-bye, straight hair. See you in a few years.
Artlist.io Alright guys, so my hair is covered in the conditioner and the chebe butter. Chebe powder, I keep saying that, chebe butter. Chebe powder, it's covered in the chebe powder and the conditioner. So now I think, I guess I should just cover it with a plastic bag. This thing says to let it sit for 24 hours. Who has that time? Yeah, so I'm gonna let it sit, not for 24 hours, maybe for 15 minutes in my hair. And then I'm gonna go into the shower, rinse it out, put in my moisture deep, uh, sorry, my moisture shampoo, rinse that out, then put in my moisture deep conditioner, sit with that for a bit, rinse that out, and maybe call it a day, I don't know. I don't know, because that sounds like a lot of work already. So I might have to see y'all tomorrow to show you guys what I'm trying to do with my hair. Or maybe I'll just start a little bit of it tonight. We'll see. But anyways, heading to the shower now. All right, guys, I am back from the shower. And if my eyes look bloodshot red, it's because they are. So my hair is definitely damp right now. So I'm just going to apply my leave-in conditioner, which is running out. And when it does run out, I'm going to switch to the other leave-in conditioner, which is the Melanin Hair Care Twist Elongating Styling Cream. Probably not gonna use this as a styler, really, just more so as a moisture base for what I'm about to do for tomorrow, it looks like, because I don't know if I'm gonna get to it tonight. Can't lie to you. But yeah, I'm just gonna put my leave-in conditioner in, followed by hair butter, just to ensure that my hair is moist. And yeah, that's about it for tonight. Artlist IO. Music licensing reimagined. Artlist IO Hey guys, so it is the next day and here I am just preparing my little tools. That was my uh, crocheter. I don't know what to call it. And that is the crocheted hair or pre-twisted hair rather that I'm going to be crocheting through my braids. I know. <laughs> I know. So we're starting off on my very shrunken pre-moisturized hair and so what I'm going to do is just kind of make the parts a little bit neater and then probably just braid at the roots and then what am I doing and then crochet it from there and show you guys the finished look. I don't know how else to explain it. So I'm starting out by untwisting from the ends and I'm just doing this so I can go in and make the parts a little bit neater. Okay, so now that we have most of the front out and untwisted, I'm going to go in with my rat tail comb and start to make those parts a little bit neater. So it, it does help to kind of spray the parts as well, you know, just in case the hair around the part is a little bit tangled. And so now I'm just going in and I'm pretty much putting a clip there so I can keep that part um, neat and that I'm not borrowing hair from other sections as I braid. So the parts ain't perfect, but they're worth it. So we're braiding that away or twisting that away and we're going to clip it away as well. Just so again, we're not borrowing hair when we're braiding the other sections. 
All right, so now we proceed to braid. So I'm just going to braid just that very, very top half of the hair just so I can get kind of a tight enough base that's not too tight, but tight enough for me to be able to pull the crocheted hair through and make it look at least decent, you know what I'm saying? So once that part is all braided, we can take out our crochet tool and we can proceed to crochet our hair through. So initially, I think I wanted to pull like two strands through because um, I thought one strand was too skinny, but eventually I realized one strand is just enough. And one thing I really like about these um, pre-twisted strands are that they're very, very lightweight and they don't um, make your neck hurt because again, they're lightweight, they're not heavy. So I think that was a plus and they're pretty easy to crochet through on top of that. So my camera's not doing it justice, but you see how that clasp is open? You just close that clasp around the loop of the hair and then you carefully pull it through your own hair root. And then once it's at the other side, you can release that tool and then you pull one end of the twist through your root, if that makes sense. <laughs> You'll see. Music licensing reimagined. So now that you've gotten that down, now you can start to twist the pre-stretched hair around it. So this was a bit of trial and error for me because I wasn't exactly sure how I, how I can effectively hide my own hair with the pre-stretched hair, but I tried my best. But as I moved through the rest of my hair throughout the video, I kind of got a knack for it and I figured out my own method of hiding my hair underneath. But I think I did okay. I did okay for this section at least. But yeah, you continue to twist it around the length of that braided section. And then when you get to your the open section of your own hair, that's when you can kind of intertwine your hair with the pre-stretched hair and twist them around each other. Music licensing reimagined. So it does look a little springy, if you will, <laughs> but all of that can be addressed with um, just using the hot water treatment. Um, if you know, you know, but I'll show you at the end of the video anyways. So you're pretty much gonna continue that same method all throughout your hair. You're just going to three strand braid the roots first. You don't have to go all the way. I don't like to go all the way. I'm just gonna do the roots and then from there, you can crochet the hair through with the tool, and then you can just start two-stranding two the crocheted hair itself over your own hair. And once you get to the open section of your own hair, that's when you intertwine that open section with the fake hair, essentially, and just continue to twist from there. All right, so now we've made it to the middle section of the hair and literally we're going to do the exact same thing as I did with the front section. You know, of course the parts are not like perfect, but they work for me, you know? And it's also my first time, so cut me some slack. Artlist.io. All right, so this part looks a little funny, I guess, but my boyfriend got me this um, three-way mirror for Christmas from Amazon, and it's meant to help you with parting the backside of your hair because you can't see your backside, so <laughs> yeah, it helps with that. But yeah, it was, this is just me trying to maneuver it and trying to like visualize the backside of my hair, but also trying to see through the braids that are in front of my eyes and... <laughs> It was just a mess, okay? But it worked out. So one thing that I kind of learned halfway through is that an easier way to do it is just to hook the very end of the crocheted hair through the twist versus hooking it from the middle through the twist, if that makes sense. Because if you're hooking the crocheted hair from the middle of that strand through the twist, then you have to kind of pull almost the entire length through the twist so that it evens out. 
but if you hook the very end of the crocheted hair through the twist like I just did in this clip, then you don't really have to waste too much time pulling the entire length of the hair through, right? Because you already hooked the end through. I hope that makes sense, but it's much easier. All right, so here I'm showing you how I pretty much cover my own hair with the artificial hair. So I pretty much just cross the artificial hair at the front like that, and then I cross it at the back, if that makes sense. Like I'm just continuously crossing it just so it's covering the length of my own hair and kind of securing it a little bit, right? Just like that. And then of course, when I get to the part of my hair that is not braided, I split it into two and I intertwine it into the artificial hair, as mentioned before. I'm memorizing all the other cardiac enzymes because the one- Looks a little crazy, but I'm gonna come back a few days from now when I straighten these out and then I'll show you how it looks then. So in this clip, I'm just using that hot water treatment that I might have re referenced in the beginning of this video. Um, so that is pretty much meant to kind of straighten out the braids because again, remember they were kind of like shriveled up or like bouncy, I guess. I'm not sure what word I'm looking for here, but basically this is just meant to straighten them out and make them look a little bit more tame. All right, guys, so this is where I will end the video. So it may not be perfect, but it is my first time. So cut me some slack. I'll get better over time. But thanks again for watching. And always remember, natural hair grows. Don't you forget it. Oh, 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 the pretty girl.